ready? I'm ready. So, okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yuya. Today, I'd like to present about my French culture. There are four main things I'd like to explain to you. One is my friend who is from Saudi Arabia. Two, his image of Japan. Three, his culture. Four, advice to this class. The reason why I chose the, uh, my friend who is from Saudi Arabia was three very reasons. Uh, so, personally, he is one of my very close friends. And second, he's from Saudi Arabia, and it, the country has a very different culture from Japan. And it is very interesting. Um, also, I'd like you to think about what is his culture through this presentation. And I hope at the end of this presentation you will get the idea of what is my friend's culture. So, to begin with my presentation, please let me explain to my friend. His name is Nasa Al Gandhi. Uh, he is 24 years old. Uh, he is from Saudi Arabia. Uh, so surprisingly, he has got seven siblings, uh, two brothers and five sisters. And he is the saddest, sad oldest in his siblings. So he said he sometimes has to look after his young sisters. But he likes them. And the place I met him was in Christchurch, New Zealand. And we went to the same language school and study English together. He is very capable of English and also extra bad and easy going. And he's very ambitious. He wants to be a pharmacist in the future. Uh, we sometimes had lunch uh, together or play some sports where we hung out quite often in New Zealand. So before I begin to explain uh, his, what he does every day, I'd like to explain his city where he lives in. So he lives in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. As you can see from this photo, this is the second biggest city in Saudi Arabia. It is very like more than a very beautiful and nice view. It would be very amazing. And there are two places you must see when you visit there. Uh, one is fountain. So the, this fountain is called Jeddah Fountain. This has been given by the king of Saudi Arabia to the city, citizen of Jeddah. Uh, surprisingly, the height of this fountain is 312 meters. So it's just almost the same as Tokyo Tower. So you can't miss it wherever you in the city. You can see this one. And another thing is floating mosque. So do you know mosque? So, so but this mosque is very sweet. <coughs> so when the tide is high, uh, this mosque is completely surrounded by water. So it must be very beautiful. And also the color of this building is very, very artistic and very beautiful. Okay, so now you hopefully you've got a general idea of who he is and where he lives in. So then, let's look through the, his schedule. At 11 a.m., he wakes up and has breakfast. I think 11 a.m. is quite late to have breakfast. I told him, is it brunch or something? But he said it's breakfast. Uh, this is his room. Uh, there is bed, uh, desk for study, hopefully, and air conditioner, I think. Saudi Arabia must be very hot and uh, bicycle machine to get to the exercise and I quite like the wall, very fashionable. And this is traditional clothes he wears, especially the traditional events like wedding or funeral or family events. And the white one that covers his body is called uh, tov. So this is normally made of uh, cotton, so in the summer it is keeps cool, but in the winter the color it will be is also change like gray or black because the 
material will be changed into uh, wool, so it keeps warm in the winter. And the one covered his head is uh, smart. This due to the region, he wears this one. I like this clothes. And back to his schedule. So 3 p.m. he has lunch, which sounds quite late. And free time, what he does is play sports, uh, play video games, or go shopping. And so when I looked at the malls of Saudi Arabia, I found there are a lot of huge malls in Jeddah. And one of the biggest mall is Mall of Arabia. Uh, there are 300 shops and 100 restaurants. And uh, what surprised me was there is amusement park. So there is roller coaster inside the mall. So I think that sounds very attractive. And another thing he really likes is watching football games. So recently he's been addicted to watch World Cup games. And so have I. And he does also play football every Friday. And back to his schedule. So it's around 7 to 9 p.m. he has dinner. I think I knew you would like to know about the food in Saudi Arabia. So I'm going to explain food. Uh, this is one of the most popular food in Saudi Arabia, which is kabusa. So kabusa is rice with beef or lamb or it could be chicken. And one thing, very uh, delicacy food, is kemel. So this is a photo of kabusa with kemel. You might be able to see uh, two humps of kemel. And I asked him what is kimel taste like. He said the best things you can do is try it. And I wanted to bring kimel meat here, but that wasn't me, Hiroshima. So hopefully we will get kimel meat in our life. And so we look through general things, what food he is, and where he lives in, and his daily life. So from now, <coughs> look through the image, his image of Japan. So when he thinks about Japan, he came up with these ideas. Japan has got high technologies such as TV or Sony or cars from Toyota. And these products or cars are flood, flood into Saudi Arabia society too. And also Japanese people are very polite punctual and rush. And I think this is true. I always rush to school. My father rushed to work uh, to get the train. And the interesting fact he told me was uh, in the past in Saudi Arabia, the TV program about Japan used to be broadcasted, uh, which was very famous. So most of Saudi Arabia people has a general idea of Japan and they like Japan. And he went to New Zealand and he met a lot of Japanese <coughs> students like me and he realized these ideas, these images are true. And he has a very positive image of Japan. However, he got culture shock from Japan. One is sushi. He didn't surprise about raw fish, however, rice with vinegar, because he didn't like it, that because that is something that he has never eaten before, and I think I agree. And clothes, so due to religion, uh, people in Saudi Arabia, especially women, has to be covered, they has, so their body has to be covered by clothes. But Whereas Japan, especially high school girls students, wear very short skirts that like your underwear like almost can be seen or something. So very, very short. So he was surprised. And another thing is dog. So do you have a pet dog here or in your country? 
I do have a pet dog at home, and I treat it like a baby. But he said it ha never happened in Saudi Arabia. So people in Saudi Arabia regards uh, dogs is God, God, God for to keep safe from like people who are not expected to come. However, in Japan, like, a lot of people has a dog inside of the house and like treat as a like a baby. So it's got surprised. So we look through the image of Japan. And now let's think about let's think together about his culture. So his schedule in Ramadan. Do you know Ramadan? Uh, so Ramadan is a special religion month for Islam people that Islam people are not allowed to have meals uh, apart from dinner. So uh, in this month, he's been a Ramadan month. So this is very special schedule. So he wakes up around 12 a.m. at p.m. and he goes to mosque and pray for the Lord, or oh, just hang out with his friends. And what surprised me most was the time of dinner. He has dinner around 4 a.m. But I think this is very, very sensible idea, because if you are very, very starving, would you be able to sleep? Probably for me, it's like impossible. So he has dinner just one hour before going to bed. This is very interesting. So, this religion is Islam. Islam is a uh, people believe the God, which is called Allah. And also, this religion is famous for strict regulations, like no alcohol, no pork, no gambles. So, through the, t the interview to him and researching the, about his country. Uh, I thought about what is his culture all the time and I found the everything around him like religion, family, or food, experience <coughs> in New Zealand, TV products about Japan, their siblings, everything makes his culture. That's why he is him, so NASA is NASA. And when people think about what us, when people are asked about what is culture, people would say Japanese culture, blah, blah, blah. But if people have to answer about the, somebody's culture, I think that it's like the answer is the environment around the person. So everything around him makes him. And in the last, uh, I'd like to give advice from him to this class. So he's learned English for a long time, and he found as acquiring the foreign language. You can also you can also learn uh, culture, its culture, and its people, habit, and food, very many things. Not only language, and very other things. So. Please have fun with it. So this is my end of the present. This is my present end of my presentation. Uh, I hope you get the general idea of uh, his culture and the culture of Saudi Arabia. Thanks for listening to me.